Welcome back everybody to episode 135 of my time at Porsche with Selena. We are giving our baby their breakfast and their other breakfast. I know that's the other baby. I don't have any exclamation marks behind me. Let us see what the day is bringing. We have strange behavior from Higgins occurring. Speak of the devil. Greetings and good day to you, rival. In recent days, I have not only maintained a respectable level of output for my workshop, but I have also managed to personally affect every citizen in Porsche's lives in a positive manner. I have come to proclaim my triumph over you as the number one friendliest person in town. At least, that's what I was planning to say when all this started. Listen, Selena, I, uh, I was a jerk. I, I mean, sometimes. Sometimes you were a jerk too, but, but I... I guess maybe I was the bigger jerk. I thought maybe if I could outperform you around town, maybe I could make you understand the pain I was feeling from being second best at the only thing I cared about. Nah, I'm not good at this mushy stuff. Listen, I'm only going to say this once, so you better not forget it, okay? You're actually a really good person. Ah, the words are like fire on my tongue. No matter how mean I was to you, you kept coming back to hang out with me. You still wanted to be my friend. I couldn't figure it out. I kind of just assumed all people were bad. I'd make some snide remark and they'd storm off and abandon me. I always thought good riddance and just got back to work. But you, you stayed. You broke my world view, you jerk. But, um, sorry, anyway, emulating you and helping people out around town, I started to understand you better. It actually does feel good doing things for people. Who would have thought it? Where was I? Oh yeah, having other people around really balances out my work life. I'm much happier now and I have you to thank for it. Hi Martha. Come on, shake my hand. I haven't got all day. You're a true friend. Great. Now, let's never talk about any of that ever again. <laughs> so, next order of business. Us working together on the Huss and Tuss house got me thinking. we got to build a ship. Not just any ship. The most fabulous, zabulous, blim blam, blabulous ship. A ship that could travel anywhere, the biggest ship ever made, the kind of ship any one of us couldn't build alone, but one that all of us together could, a, uh, a friend ship. But we're not going to call it that, that's too cheesy. Uh, we we'll think of something good. I'm not going, I'm going to round up all the other builders around Porsche, then get back to you with the plan. Can you go talk to Mason and ask if he'll help? I know he's retired and all, but maybe he'll listen to you sure okay oh and one more thing just because we're friends now doesn't mean i'm going to stop trying to beat you with everything watch yourself on the charts this month talina awesome <laughs> awesome friendship higgins you you're not even a dad you don't have a license for that joke man i have more of a license for that joke i'm a mum. are there such a thing as mum jokes well there are now Alrighty, uh, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm running around like a lunatic. Uh, where's my piggy? There's my piggy. Alrighty, time to settle down. Take a deep breath. Hang on, you're not you're not cheesing me out of it that easily, mister. We we are still doing our, um, oops, sorry Remy, friendship and all that. I just ran you over the pig, with the pig in a friendly way. Oh no, no, that is so bad. And two and three and uh oh where is number four hiding no oh, there it is haha -ha. and again one two they hid four things on this itty bitty camera that is three ridiculous and mean and not very friendly there we go no that's not it either that was tricky. Oh, there we go. A stain. A stain on the base of the camera, rather than the face of all mankind. And again, let's go with this one. And I don't know. Oh wow, I really don't know. Maybe that one? That looks that looks good. That's two. Somewhere in here. 
Oh no, this can't be good. Wait. There's nothing wrong with that chord. Just look at the original. Something doesn't look right here, but I'm just not picking it. Maybe? No, okay, nothing's wrong there. I'm I'm really not picking it. Okay. No, that little divot's meant to be there. I'm probably going to kick myself when I see it. There's two of them too. I'm missing two. Can you believe it? Okay, the buttons are wrong. Oh, and the whole faceplate there is wrong. Right, there we go. That's three. You've got to turn it to find it though. Alright, this is... Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Oh, come on game. First you refused to give me a King Blade fish and now you refuse to make it easy for me on inspection day. How rude is that? Alrighty, we can do this though, right? Maybe. I keep saying I've got to build magnifying glasses. This is why. Three strikes. If I get it wrong again, I'm out. Oh no! Where was the where was the thing before we before we let them go? Normally there's like a little orange blotch to show you what you missed. It really was that top bit. What? Oh, fine. All right, I just took too long on that one, and the timer ran out. So, do, 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 do. Gotta do better this time. Yeah, see, there's no making up for that game. <laughs> that was rude. All right, five thousand. Okay, we're two thousand ahead of um, of Heggy. Um, two thousand six hundred even, but hey, that's not too bad. Let us go and go see Mason. No, 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 I'm losing altitude and didn't quite crash into the fence. Okay. It looks like I'll just have to dawdle my way across. Ooh, wait, mushrooms. Yes. Never let a good mushroom mushroom picking chance go by, especially as once we've talked to Mason, uh, we've done all of our errands and our chores and we can go relic hunting. All right, I'm sure there's more mushrooms over here. There it is. I just got lost. Or maybe I didn't see that one before. Mushrooms are good. Old habits die hard. You must never let the mushrooms go away. Because they're good for hit points. I'll just grab this one. Come on, Tolina. In your own time. Up two, three. Okay, now let's go find Mason. There's the bus stop, right. If you orient on the bus stop, you're generally pretty good. There we go. Bing bada boom, here he comes. Hey Mason, Mason! Hey Mason, Higgins and I are working on a big project that involves all the builders in town. Pass. I smell that smelly smell, that smell of milk on your person. Share a bottle with me and this old chunk of coal will share with you stories about the glory days of Sandrock. How does that sound? 
Sure, but we still got to talk. Oh, that's the stuff. What could be said about Mayor Trudy? A real tough number. Cool, collected, always in control of the situation. Some say she went into a den of mutant rats and came out with them working under her re-election committee. <laughs> uh-huh, pick him. Oh, hard pass. But, Mason? Look, I said no, kid. Now beat it before you really tick me off. But, Mason? Why retire in a marsh? Well, I wanted someplace tropical, but used to live in Sandrock. Got sick of the sand. What's a beach with no sand? A marsh. Uh, Mason? Oh, you're, you're not going to talk about it anymore? I think the man said no. And I think he really means it. Spoil sport. Fine, I guess each to their own, huh? I'm going to go and take my, my disappointment out on this ruin here. And we're going to go find ourselves two missing relics. Not one, but two. We might even start somewhere we haven't been. Let's go, I don't know, out the back this way. I know this plan never works, so I might as well just, I don't know, what's over there? Silicon chipset, tempering liquid. The more roly poly piece three. You know what? I'm, I'm actually beginning to think that maybe this part is not in this mine, in this level of the mine. I might have to go, I don't know, and start a whole new level, which I tell you is a bad idea to do, but it's depressing me. It really is not seeing the bits I need. All right, I know, and I know it's a bad idea to just do what I'm thinking of doing. So let's let's just start here, and um, and go for it. We should at least get some more of the treasure pieces out, just in case it's kind of hiding somewhere. Well, I missed it. Ha. Okay, there's something way over there. Tempering liquid, roly poly, steel cable. Sure, what's over here? Parts box, record player. Advanced engine, power stone, clear sky doll. Seriously. Further down my tunnel, I can find a. Oh wow, a constellation. Tempering liquid parts box, tempering liquid. Ah, uh, yeah. So maybe it looks like I need to go get some clear sky doll pieces and a condensed power stone or three. There we go. Now we're a bit closer. And I can always I can always scan kind of as I go. So as we get to each piece, I might just scan again and see if anything new comes up that I didn't see before. Yeah. All right. So the biggest, closest yellow dot is that one. So we'll go grab that one. I know, I should just run to the... Oh, really? I was, I was hunting for that before and I found it. Okay. Oh, and this is what happened to me last time. My backpack got full. Did I marker it? No, I didn't. You know, we're going to just M for map. Fine. Uh, M, we're going to return. 
I did this to myself last time. I got a really full backpack and then I'm like, wow, I can't fit all my stuff in it. Oh. Always check your backpack before you leave your workshop. Bye. It looks like we're going to have an early night then. <laughs> I know, my derpy finger tapping again. Mint will be glad to see me home early. It'll be okay. But I'll, I'll get to sort my box and, you know, do all the, the little housekeeping things that you should do before you head out. Which I completely forgot this morning because Higgins, my gosh, who expected that from Higgy? Just come down here. Boom. Sort everything and we'll probably find that every single relic piece we had is in there. That's why we're so full. Look at that. We had a bunch of relics because we've been hunting them. Hi Mint! Guess what? I'm home early tonight. We can have dinner together. Yes. I'll even cook. How's that? All right. We will sort everything over. We will sort everything up. Hey, it looks like we did get one new tape out of that last lot too, so we're gonna have to um, see where what gaps that leaves us. Uh, what were we doing? That was it. Emptying our backpack. We emptied that big time. And we need to go sell fish tomorrow too. If it's not ten, we could do that tonight. We could do that tonight. Let's go sell our kingfish. There's only one that we need. Oh wait. There's Dana. Dana. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? I have a gift for you. Here. You're really welcome. And Dawa. Dawa. You gotta wait for Dana. Here. Higgins called me by the correct name for the first time yesterday. I guess he finally appreciates all the fine wood we sent his way. Hi. That is pretty awesome. I actually stopped you to give you a gift, seeing as I'm giving Dana. It really something. is a nice present. Thank you. You're really welcome. All right, I suppose I should buy some baby's milk. Funnily enough, that's one kind of milk that Mason won't steal off you. But the other milk, if you've if you've got it on you, he's like, yeah, give me the milk, man. Give me the milk. Why are we in here? We are not supposed to be in here. We are... <laughs> Scraps is like, oh wait, I should be home now. Yes, puppy, you should. 117%. Today is an excellent day for selling kingfish. Look at that. Nice. And emperor mackerel. We won't sell the bubble fish because they're toadies. I know, I'm supposed to be keeping those for um, frogfish caviar recipes. Uh, let's just cancel that out. I want to see if I've got any fluffy pink fish for a fluffy pink cat. No, I don't. All right, that's fine. So we're now at 700,000 gold. We're not going to tell Huss and Tuss this because they will make us the... Hi, Molly. I lost my dog, but Higgins helped me find it. He smells funny, but he's a nice man. Yes, yes, he is, Dolly. Molly. There you go. You're very welcome. Hi, Dr. Zhu. Actually, I'm chasing... Dolly, who hasn't got Hello. a gift for me today. Hello, rat. Here you go. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very, very welcome. Uh, Molly, where's Polly? Did Polly already go home? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oaks. Hey, nice, nice to catch up with you. I have a carving knife for you. Hello! This is amazing. I can keep this? Really? <laughs> yes, yes. Really? You can keep it. You're welcome. He loves his carving knives. I always used to wonder what good they were because I couldn't find a use for them. But, but, um, Oaks loves them, and that's that's good for me. Hey, I I found a book for you, but I don't know if you still like it. So I'm gonna see. There you go. I really love this. 
Thank you so much. But you really don't have to spend so much time preparing gifts. I'd rather you come see me more. I will have to try and do that. Hey, Ghost. I know, I run him over with the drill. Poor Ghost. So I think, I think on that notice, on that notice, on that note, we might finish the day for Talina. And have an early night. Maybe say hi to our kids and give them with toys or something. Put them to bed, actually, because it's past nine o'clock. But uh, you know how it goes, kids. Let's just put our sword on so that we're not running around and waving a drill in their faces. There we go. Hi, Pinkster. Wow, you know what? They might actually have put themselves to bed. No, 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 there we go. Well, far be it for me to say I reward bad behavior, but yeah, you can have, you can have a caterpillar. Yeah. And Rowan, Rowan, you can have, you can have a dinosaur. Right, now I want you to go play in your cot really quietly, okay? Time for bed. Oh, there they go. I love the way that they've they've made them so they just kind of curl up and go to sleep. It's really cute. All right. Speaking of going to sleep, I get home early and Mint isn't here. <sighs> Seriously. Good morning, Mint. No, my somber mush ruins. Okay, that's fine. We'll be fine. Let's go find the skidlets. Aha, there we go. Alright, you can have some milk. And ah, get away from my Oh you rat. Now I have to wait till he's finished cuddling. Hi scraps. I know, he doesn't take long to cuddle them, but oh my goodness. I know, Mint, what is this looking at you watch if we're home together? Anyone would think you wanted me to get out the door or something. Rude. Okay. We are gonna go... Ooh, I have a letter. Okay, we're gonna go check our mailbox. Workshop rankings. Congratulations on obtaining the number one position in the workshop rankings last month. You're a model workshop and an inspiration for the rest of us. We're very glad to see such a wonderful workshop here in Porsche. We hope you continue to show such quality. Here's your reward for achieving the number one rank. Thank you. Oh, Higgins, Higgins, Higgins. Talina, I've talked to the other builders about my plan. All of them are on board. Get it? That's right. My letters have the best jokes in them. Better get used to it. Anyway, attached are several blueprints for parts of the ship. Try to get them done quickly, but don't skimp on the quality. Higgins. I don't know. That man's change of attitude is amazing. All right. From the Commerce Guild. Thank you, Russo. Russo occasionally finds old gears and... Oh, wait, there's another one. Talina, I need five replacements of the therapy light for Ginger's treatment. Don't worry if you don't have time. I'll go ask Higgins. If you do have time, please give it to me within a week. Sure thing. <sighs> you know what? Seeing as we don't have enough on our plate already... Hey! Hey, Lua! Hey. How are you doing? I have your sunnies. There you go. Wow, I've always wanted this! Thank you! I'm so happy! You're so welcome. <laughs> oh no you don't, Higgy baby. You and me are still in competition. Friends or not. Alright, so we have... Uh, 1371 and 112. And 85. So we're going to take that one. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucker. Uh, I mean, hi Higgins. How are you this morning? Ah, uh, what are you doing out? Not working on the ship. Me? I'm taking a five minute break. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, this ship. It's going to be the greatest ship. All the other ships are going to be like, ah, oh no, we're so small and dinky. <laughs> He's so excited. Here you go. Not bad, Talina. I've always wanted one of these. Your powers of perception rival my own. And what have you got to say for yourself today? I suppose it's not so bad having you around. Competing with you keeps me sharp. You know, that's that's one of the nicest things you've said so far. Not that that's a hard thing to beat, Higgins, but... Alrighty. Wow, our waterproof lamp is done already. 
I guess we're going to go deliver it. Who are we delivering it to? I didn't even look to see who it belonged to. Okay. Oh, Remy. I knew that. Hey, Remy. I think Huss and Tassa and I are cool now. It's amazing how far a little chilly goes in repairing relationships. <laughs> Somebody said I was looking for you? Oh, yeah, I needed some binoculars for patrolling, but don't worry, Higgins got me some. That's fine. Ah. Actually, I just want to give you a commission. Thanks. If you run into any trouble, don't hesitate. Ask our civil corps for help. I wonder what else he's got to say today. The safety of Porsche is my number one priority. If you see anything suspicious, just tell me. Okay. Sigh. I like Remy. He's cool. Actually, he's one of those characters that I have not dated and discovered the, the romance story behind, but I don't know if he has one. Alright, now that we've delivered that, wow. Um, okay, so I need stainless aluminium, waterproof cloth, iron with planks, pigments and paddles. Let's get the paddles done first, because I don't think I've got them lurking about. Grab all those. Okay, we'll just drop everything into our storage. Oh, right. Sort everything up. So now we've got enough to go mining if we need it. But, um... Yeah, all right. Oh, wow. Okay. I know I'm excited because because we, we're finally moving forward with the story, but I'm sad too because once once this friendship is built, I know that's the end of the, the story that's in the game. And it's like, but, but I don't want it to end. Anyway, I will start a new game. That's got to keep me happy. We are finding paddles. 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 I have some. Alright, why don't I just look in here and see what we've got. So, stainless aluminium, waterproof cloth, ironwood planks, pigments and paddles. So, pigments. Waterproof cloth. Stainless aluminium. Stainless aluminium. Paddles, pigments, waterproof cloth. I think that oh, I need the bulbs for Dr. Ju. Alright, let's see how we how we held up there. So oh iron with planks. That's, that's the other thing. You have forgotten something. I know, we can't just sort this quickly, but that's okay. Right, there's the iron wood. 64 iron points, there we go. Alright, so we've got all the aluminium. We need to make more cloth. Um, and we need to get more pigments. And we need to... I needed to get the paddles out as well. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to cancel all of these because otherwise our machines are not going to focus on what I want them to focus on. We can we can reinstate them all. Uh, we are going to ask them to make a hundred because it's a nice round number and I can't be bothered mapping. Alright, I can actually only make 37. Is that going to be enough? 57 and 37 is 94, so yes, that'll be enough. We're going to go buy some pigments from Carol while, while, our, while our crafting happens, and we're going to deliver our therapy lines. But also, let's go find our paddles while we're at it, because I'm pretty sure they're in here as well. If I made eight of them in, in a fit of crafty craftiness, uh, they should be... There they are. Okay, so we've got everything we need except the pigments and the waterproof cloth. This is why I say whenever you're playing this game, try and keep, I don't know, a hundred in stock. Um, except, of course, for some of the other models, you're going to need a bit more. Let's go find Dr. Zhu. Looks like he's out picking, picking herbs, so that's fine. Let's go find him. 
and will drop off these therapy lights because he needs them. Here he is. Hey, Dr. Shu. Great. Thanks for the help. You're really welcome. Hey, sorry I didn't make it to the party. Comes with a job, you know. I was feeling ill the other day and I had to step out of the clinic for a bit. I was going to ask you to bring me some medicine while Phyllis held things down, but Higgins brought me some before I could get in touch with you. That's really nice of him, Doc. Hey. How have you been? Do you go on adventures often? Uh Uh-huh. Keep some drugs at hand and remember the doctor's advice. Ugh. Still, still the same old naggy doctors you. All right, let's go and um, and while we're here, I have not given Papa Bear his honey yet. Hey, Papa Bear. I know. Oh, oh, oh. Seriously, um, I I brought you your honey when I can find it in my backpack. Wait, there it is. You're welcome. All right, let's go get our pigments from Carol. So try and keep your pigments on hand. You can make them if you want to grow your rainbow flowers and pick them. And I do have a ton of rainbow flowers, but I don't like picking them because they're too pretty. So (laughs) I might just buy that while I'm here and I might buy some more of those while I'm here. You know what? We have never updated our clothes. I know, right? Let's not get distracted by that yet, just yet. Military uniforms, military uniform top. Alright, I'm just going to buy this many and that should be enough. So I'm actually wearing Adventurous Pants at 280, Defense at 280, Adventurous Cap at 600, 220 for military. So we've, we've got the best stuff ever. Adventurous dress even better than the military do. All right. I was going to say we should go run down Nora, but I'm actually really anxious to get these materials done. So let's let's go and see how waterproof cloth is coming along. It is going to take a little while to build it, though. I know. So it's getting there. It is going to take a little while to build it. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. All right. Okay, it's going to nickel and dime it, and I'm going to stand here and run back and forward trying to make it hurry up by staring at it, and that's not going to do any of us any good. So I'm going to take my piggy. I'm going to go and check and make sure that I really, really, really don't have the king blade fish. Uh, and then I think what we might do is go fishing until midnight. Or something. Hi Merlin. Actually, what pieces do people need? I've got a few of these as well. Oh, thinking can porcelain water holder joystick and sub piece. Alright. Actually, I always model those up because I can never remember if, which one I'm supposed to be giving. So E to observe, Arthur fish species. Yeah, it is. It's the king blade fish. We're definitely missing it. All right. I, I'm not going crazy then. I really, really, really did miss it. Oh, there was Nora. I could have given her her hourglass. Fine. You know what? We've crossed her path twice now. Let's go give her her... She likes the goddess statue. I don't think I've... Oh, I might have a spare one. We could give her a goddess statue and see if she enjoys it. Where is she? She did that teleporting thing again, didn't she? Oh, these townsfolk and their teleportation, they drive me crazy. There's Nora. Look at that. Hi, Nora. How you Hello. doing? Hello. Uh, I have for you one of these. Wow. I've always wanted this. You're really welcome. And then, of course, we have Polly. Hey, Polly. 
You were at the party, right? They didn't spill any chili on the couch, did they? They'd better not have. I'd myrtleize them. Have you ever spoken with Higgins on his opinions of manliness? I was pleasantly surprised the other day by his insight on the subject. Hey! Hey! Speaking of manliness, I believe I owe you some tea. I like it. You're very nice. You're very welcome. Okay. What was I doing? I was going to go give Martha a feather duster and then we were going fishing. No, no, not your bakery, sweetie. At first, I wanted to keep Higgins away from Toby. He always seemed like such a creep to me, but after getting to know him a bit, I see he was always just a bit misunderstood. Hi! <laughs> I got you a feather duster. Here you go. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Mr. Ack. Alrighty. May, I keep forgetting to gift you. Oh, hey there. I was going to ask if you could help fix our printing press, but Higgins came by and did it already. When did he become such a nice guy? Hi. I don't know, May, but uh, you can be happy that he is. He's much a nicer. photo album! This is great! Shall we get a photo together to put on the first page? Sure thing. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, who's got a secret desire? Oh, hi! Hi! Have an apple, Jack. I bet you gave this a lot of thought, huh? Well, yeah, because... Because you, um... Hey! Have you ever spoken with Higgins about literature? He's surprisingly well read, I've discovered. He helped me find a rare book I've been looking for. Nice! Hello. An order of vegetable salad? See you. Uh, okay, I might have to think about that. Sorry, Jack. Okay, fish. I pr keep promising you fish. Let's go find some fish. Alright, so I'm thinking that this is where we're going to leave this episode. And next episode we're going to come back. Well, we're not going to leave it. We're going to finish the episode by fishing. But, um, next episode what we're going to do, we could buzz the birdie. What? Uh-oh, that was possibly not my best ever idea. <laughs> the poop goes flying off into the distance. I know, right? And basically, next episode what we could do is we're going to finish our order for waterproof cloth uh, for Higgins and uh, deliver that and we'll just see how, how long it takes in between getting the materials and building the boat but um i, I vaguely remember this this part of the, the thing and it's kind of bittersweet you know you, you purposes you, you talk to all of the townsfolk and as you can see by some of our recent conversations they all talk about things that have um that have happened and things that are happening as you as you go around so, for instance, when, you, when the rats are stealing things, you, you meet the townsfolk and they're, and they're talking about the thief. Or when you get back from it, they're all excited because you found rats and they, they've got this, this thing about talking rats that they talk about. <coughs> so, when you, when, when you get to this stage of the game, they're, they're talking about how Higgins has changed. It's, it's kind of really cool. It gives you a feeling that the townsfolk are moving with you. Um, but also, uh, at the end of the game, once you, you know, there's there's more conversation to be had with them. It, it really it ties the game up nicely. There's there's a couple of missing threads I'd, I'd love to see finished, but but for the moment the boat, um, this this ending is quite good. See if we can finish our perfect day or our almost perfect day with a perfect king blowfish. Aha, uh -huh, very funny game. That's a catfish.
Oh, sigh. So many ordinary fish. I think um, so far it's been this fish has been the hardest one for me to catch is the king blade. It's taken me the longest. So maybe next game I might start fishing for it a bit earlier. And I can always use the dry blade fish for hit point stuff as well. I just have a drying rack of five early on. But it does make it hard to get some of your other missions. Doesn't it doesn't. Just means you gotta take a little bit more time doing some things. So yeah, so next game it's um, I wanna have the Cristella trees earlier, because that way I can build up a stock of them. And the, the trees, the Zealora and the Nada trees as well. So one each of those earlier. And um, and maybe I should look at possibly having some more of the crops growing than I, than I normally do. Because when you can make vegetable salad um, and build your friendships from a really early point in the game. It's, it's always hard because by the time you get to this point in the game, all those strategies that you kind of like, oh, I've got to do this for the next game, and, and ha what things work, they, they kind of fade. So you've got to you've got to relearn the game from the beginning. Um, I mean, some things don't change and some things do, but yeah, it's just just like that. He's an Emperor Blade. King Blade next. Yes. No. <laughs> Game's like, haha, you can have a catfish. Thanks, game. And a shell necklace. Thanks, game. Actually, I've got a few of those now. And a wise fish. That's a 320G fish. Thanks, game. Oh boy, here we go. And another one. Emperor Bladefish, it's closer. I'm trying really hard not to look at the time and just see how many of the, how many of these we have. But uh, we are we are getting very close. Lord of averages is our friend. Eventually there will be a King Bladefish on the end of this line. It's getting late, we should get some rest. This is true. Oops, I missed that one. That was a catfish. Oh, here's a wise earth fish. That's pretty. I should actually put it in a tank because, you know, it's worth 700 and something G. Or 680 or something. Yeah, that was a catfish. Alrighty. Well, very shortly I'm going to bid you guys adieu, so if you've enjoyed this episode so far, please hit like. If you would like to see more, uh, please hit subscribe. If you have anything you want to see in the next series of my talent portion, please let me know in the comments. Um, Sandrock's coming soon as I record this, so hopefully we'll see that soon too. But on that note, I'll leave you. Take care out there and have a really good week. See you around.